Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up everybody? It's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About today. Today we are learning about the two barred rabbit fish, or as we like to call them in the shop, the blue and gold rabbit fish. Today is the last day celebrating a thousand subscribers. I can't thank y'all enough for that. Like seriously, it is a big deal and I'm so happy we finally hit it. Prices on them, you'll spend $50. Tank size, I think you need about a 55 gallon. They can get big, but that four feet of room will definitely give them plenty of room to swim. Care level can be moderate. Temper, they are very peaceful. Reef compatible, yes. Temperature, you want to keep it 72 to 78, DKH 8 to 12, pH 8.1 to 8.4, and your salinity 1.020 to 1.025. Diet, they are a herbivore. Make sure you're feeding them plenty of algae on a clip, but they can have a really nice meaty diet. Feed them things like krill and brine shrimp, flakes, pellets, anything like that. Max size, they say you can get up to 11 inches. That's pretty big. But the biggest one I've seen that was pretty old was six inches. He was a real nice, he was like a big white perch. He was really pretty. Definitely recommend you get one. Color is that nice blue and yellow details on top with the white body and two brown bars running down by his face. Compatibility, just ask. You actually can pair them up, but I would recommend this be the only rabbit fish in your tank. They tend to fight each other if it sees another one. So if you do want to pair them up, put them in there at the same time. Origin, they are from the Indo-Pacific. And venomous, yes, they are very venomous. On top of their dorsal fins, they will flare them up at times whenever they're frightened or scared, going after food, anything like that. And they definitely can stab into you, do a really nice sting on you. But they will not chase you and go after you with the dorsal fins like a lionfish would. He's basically going to just run to the corner whenever you get in there, so I wouldn't really wreck bother with trying to avoid him i would just keep a close eye on him but he's not going to chase after you with them fins make sure you keep them well fed i have seen some people having problems with them nipping at their coral probably looking for algae probably just looking for something to eat so keep them very well fed and he shouldn't be messing with your stuff whenever he is frightened he will turn gray with black spots on him don't freak out he's just doing his thing that's what he does they tend to do it a lot whenever they're first introduced into a tank normally takes them a little while to get comfortable but once you get him eating and coming out with your other fish he normally does just fine but just make sure if you see that happening don't freak out just let him do his thing but that's it that's everything about your rabbit fish that's all you need to know he's really cool really great fish to have and he's really easy to take care of just watch out for them spikes on top because they definitely are venomous so just want to take a minute to talk about future plans of the channel we just finished 30 whole videos about fish every single day and we got through it i missed yesterday but it's all good we are here hitting that 30th one i'm very proud of myself to tell you be honest for getting it done every day for y'all and it's been a lot of fun but probably will take a week off and then go back to the normal deal i'll figure out how many days i want to pick out maybe two to three days a week doing a video fish wise i have about 20 more fish videos ready that i have footage of and then after that it's going to be pretty hard to get footage of fish just because our store gets a kind of a general idea of what fish to get and i've basically posted a video of all of them but like i said i do have about 20 left i'm currently filming coral as we speak so those will definitely be on the way and it's going to be a lot of fun give me something new to do something new for y'all to learn about and there's tons and tons of corals out there to learn about. So that'll be a lot of fun. But for a little bit, you might be getting some vlogs, some gaming videos, just something new. Something new for me to edit and do. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Hope y'all have enjoyed this celebration of a thousand subscribers. Can't thank y'all enough. I'll see y'all later.